Hi, this is Mel Bartholomew with some square foot garden tips for you. I want you to see these plants. I've been growing them all winter long indoors. First of all, look at this one here. See how tall it is and all these uh, flowers up on top? Guess what this is? It's celery. Can you imagine that? I'm growing celery, but I let it go to seed. I just wanted to see how tall it would get and where the seeds would be. They're so tiny. And look right in here. Here's all the little blossoms. They're just going to seed now. But it takes a lot of time for the growers to produce seed for you. And that's why seeds are kind of expensive. Here's another one right next to it. This looks entirely different. Look at the seed stalk on that one. This is Swiss chard. Yeah, usually, of course, there's a whole bunch of stalks, but when it goes to seed, just one of them takes over. Now look at all these different blossoms and seeds in here. Isn't that interesting? This could be a science project for the kids. Same thing over here, and down the bottom, I have my favorite old Dusty Miller. And this is one of the most marvelous plants you could have in your square foot garden. One per square foot. Keep it trimmed back. Has little blossoms on it. It's just wonderful. Well, I just wanted you to see how different plants go to seed. And we do this in our, our school program. Because when you ask kids, well, where do you get seeds for uh, radish? <laughs> well, uh, they don't know. They're dumbfounded. Uh, obviously, if you look for seeds for, let's say, a potato, they're in the potato itself. Those little eyes sprout and that becomes the seed. But there's so many plants that seeds aren't obvious and you don't eat the seed. For example, lettuce. Lettuce also sends a shoot up and has blossoms on it. And that's where the seeds are. But we harvest the lettuce before that. So think about all the other things that you eat and have a guessing game with the kids and find out where do the seeds come from. Now if you need any other ideas, go to our website, squarefootgardening.com. It's just loaded with information and things to do.